Hey everybody! Welcome to my 14 week pregnancy update. I just had to reshoot this because I started off saying my 13 week. I can't even run third child problems. I literally can't even remember like how far along I am. Also, just a disclaimer, I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. Um, I have a cold and so my voice is like gone or going. So probably won't be too long of a video because I really don't like to talk. Um, my oldest came home with a cold, then the youngest got it, then I got it, and now Anthony's starting to feel sick. So we're all just getting the cold. Not been fun. If you've ever been pregnant and had a cold, it stinks because usually my go-to is like Dayquil. Um, but when you're pregnant, you can't have that. So I thought you couldn't have like any cold medicine, um, but my doctor's office actually gave me like a list of approved medications for pregnancy. And um, under the cold and flu section was Tylenol. I guess Tylenol makes like a cold and flu. So I've been taking those. I don't think they're as effective as the Dayquil. <laughs> Probably that's why I've never heard of them. And also, everywhere I go, like, they're sold out. <laughs> so that's been really hard to find. Um, and then they only come with a pack of, like, 12. So they don't last me, like, hardly at all. On top of still feeling nauseous, yes, I am still feeling nauseous. So I, like, I'm dealing with the nausea. I'm dealing with the exhaustion of just being pregnant. And now I'm dealing with a cold. So this has been a really hard week for me, <laughs> but that's okay, I'm gonna get through it. Not a big deal. So let me give you stats about baby so I can stop, you know, just complaining about myself and I'll talk about baby instead. I'm just pulling it up on my phone. <clears throat> so this week the baby is the size of a lemon. Like I said, I'm 14 weeks. I guess now I'm in my second trimester. I know it's kind of all over the place. Some people say like 12 weeks is for, is second trimester. Some people say 13 weeks. Apparently on this app, it's 14 weeks. 14 weeks, you're in your second trimester. So now that I'm in my second trimester, the nausea should be going any day now. I'm still waiting for it to go. Okay, sorry, I just heard our door alarm go and my son was about to go outside because he didn't, didn't know where I was even though I told him I'm going upstairs to record a video. I swear. Anyway, baby, yes, I'm in my second trimester now, so that's exciting. Also with the baby, um, the baby can now squint, frown, and grimace and they are starting to grow hair. So that is very exciting looking more like a baby, I'm sure. As for me, like I said, I'm still feeling nauseous. Some days it's all day nausea. Most days it's just evening. Like right now I feel fine, but usually about by about five, four or five, and then I just am nauseous the rest of the day. So that's not fun. Um, I'm really tired. Um, I'm tired just being pregnant and then with this cold, I'm not sleeping well at night, so I'm just like exhausted constantly. Thankfully, coffee is not as repulsive to me as it was, so I have been having one cup of coffee a day, and that seems to be, well, I don't know. Usually when I drink coffee, like I am good to stay up until like midnight, but yesterday I had coffee and I was falling asleep at like nine o'clock at night. I was trying to watch my shows on the TV and I was like nodding off. So maybe it's not helping as much as I would hope it is. Um, I do feel like my belly is continuing to get bigger. Um, any sort of tighter shirt, you could definitely tell I have a belly. Um, I don't think my regular jeans, these are regular jeans, but I don't think they're gonna last too much longer. Um, just because they are starting to get a little tight and I do have maternity jeans so I might as well pull them out soon. I don't think I've been feeling baby cake. I'll feel little twinges here and there, but I think it's just muscle twinges. I don't feel like I'm feeling the baby. And I don't really remember <coughs> when I started feeling Grayson and Porter. I'll have to go back and look at my videos, but I feel like it should be happening soon, right? So hopefully that happens soon because without those kicks, without like feeling anything, like I start to wonder like, am I really pregnant or 
Like, is everything going okay? So I'm excited for those to start. I've been getting a lot more headaches lately. Um, even before I got this cold, I've been getting more headaches. And then of course with the cold, like I've been getting headaches. So not sure why that is, but it is a symptom. I'm still breaking out. My face has so much acne constantly. I finally started using stretch mark lotion on my belly. I need to start doing it on my boobs too. Um, but I just started using it on my belly. I feel like in my previous pregnancies, I started using the stretch mark lotion like day one, like as soon as I found I was pregnant. And with this one, I'm like, eh. Like I have stretch marks from the previous two, so it's like, how much does the lotion really help? So I'll do it like every day now that I'm doing it, but I don't really know how much it helps. I do find it hard to get like comfortable, like if I'm like lounging or like reclined. Like I find that I have to like switch my position a whole bunch of times. I don't know if that's just because my belly's getting bigger or what. I am peeing a lot, even though, I mean, I guess I'm drinking a little bit more because I had this cold um, and I'm trying to stay hydrated, but I do feel like I'm peeing a ton. I am super forgetful, super, I mean, I guess that's just what I would say, super forgetful. I don't know if it's pregnancy brain, if it's mom brain or what, or combine those two together, but like my, like I cannot remember things for the life of me. Like I have to be reminded like so many times. Um, I've been telling the boys that the new baby is coming. And so if you ask them like, where's the new baby? They know, they point to my belly, so they know where the new baby is. <clears throat> and my oldest, Grayson, I will ask him and I'll say, how is, like, how's the baby gonna come out? And he's like, oh, it'll pop out in April. And I'm like, yeah, how's it gonna come out? And he tells me, it's gonna come out your mouth. <laughs> that's his theory. I was like, oh, okay. So that's how he thinks the baby's gonna come out. I don't really want to correct him, he's four, so that's what we're going with right now. And Porter, he's two. He doesn't he doesn't even understand. Like he like if I ask him where's the baby, he knows it's in my belly, but I don't think he like understands like there's a legit baby. I don't even know if Gray understands that, you know? Like they're kids, but it's fun to talk about. I think that's gonna be it. Sorry, this is probably gonna be a shorter video. My throat is killing me and I just want to go lay down. <laughs> so hopefully next time my video will be me more peppy and with my voice back. Um, and hopefully I won't be nauseous. So stay tuned. How many weeks is it going to take for me to lose my nausea? I'm hoping by 15 weeks it'll be gone. But we'll see. So thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you have found any good pregnancy friendly tips to get rid of a cold because this is killing me and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!